Hi, this is Dr. Walker. Welcome back to the channel, denwalker.com. I wanted to give a sort of a quick little take on what um, I consider to be a decent uh, nasal nasal flush. And I am doing this because it's, uh, it's the holidays, it's the end of the year, and I, I know that lots of folks are, um, are, are going out and they're in big gatherings, they're in church, um, people coming for dinner, they're going out to movies and so forth. Um, and I, I think um, it's, it's the time of the year where most of us are having lots of people around us. Uh, and some of them, um, uh, you run the risk of, quote, having an exposure uh, to um, from things like shedding. You've heard the term shedding. Um, I've talked about shedding in the past. Uh, and some of this can happen with um, with sort of anybody, right? And I, I, I said before, I think if you um, if you have natural immunity, then it's not really an issue for 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 most of us. Um, I think if we were to get uh, an infection towards the end of the year, that infection at the end of the year, uh, I think it it'll be uh, short lived, transient, um, and again, especially if you have natural immunity. Uh, but not all of us have that um, have that, and so I, I think it's a decent approach to just. To just do what you can to protect yourself um, as we go forward to, to, towards the end of the year. Uh, and what I what I use is uh, proton iodine, and it's this little bottle. It's like a ten percent solution, um, is what it says. And I, I know lots of folks have their sort of their way and their method of doing it, and it's it's very confusing sometimes in terms of what uh, people are doing. And I'm telling you what I do. It's just it's just what I do, and um, you can use it or, or not. Uh, and the, the issue, though, sometimes with people with um, thyroid disorders uh, may have some issue with uh, additional iodine. Synthroid is a very difficult uh, medication to sort of get the levels, um, get, get, get the numbers controlled adequately or, or properly. So for those folks, I'd say take some caution with it. Maybe talk with, talk with your doctor and, and, and so forth. You may not. Anyway, um, but it shouldn't cause you much of an issue. Um, but cautionary from from that standpoint but anyway um what i do it's it's a 10 percent um uh solution that i have it's again this this bottle and i have this little plastic cup and it's really about three ounces of of uh vial or, or, or container and i use um cereal water uh if you can uh in in this and i sort of fill this all the way up and what i do then is i take Literally two drops, you get a third drop in it, not a big deal. Two two drops into this cup. Again, three ounces of sterile water. And uh, it'll turn the water just a little bit um, brownish, if you would. Uh, just a little bit, not uh, not too much. Now, important, importantly, is um, the water that you use, just not tap water, not pipe water, uh, that you use, it needs to be warm, right? And, and, and if you've had kids or babies in the past, um, you drop the water sort of on your wrist and you test it that way to be certain that it's not too hot. I'm not going to tell you how to get your water warm because I want folks to say, Dr. Walker said, yeah, don't do that. Um, but it needs to be warm. And the reason it needs to be warm is, is if you take cold water and infuse cold water in your nostril, it, it can um, sting a little bit. The, the nose, the nostril is, is very uh, vascular, if you would, and tends to constrict, especially when you get cold water on, on, on parts of it. So... Um, that being said, it needs to be warm, right? Warmer, um, almost like you're giving a uh, baby formula, test the water to be certain that it's actually warm enough um, to, to, to utilize. Then I have this 5cc syringe, right? And I literally uh, pull the water up once I get that, again, uh, two drops, maybe th a third one, not a problem, two drops in here. I stir it around in this, uh, in this container. And then I literally fill this container, th this syringe with, with the liquid. And I then sort of lean over the sink and I put this in my nostril, right? And I squirt the, uh, the solution in my nostril and I watch it run out. And I do that maybe two times per nostril. And I hold one side of my nose, one side of my nose, and uh, then, I do the, the, then I do the other side. And um, you, you'll feel it sort of get in there and it should not get all the way into your, into your throat uh, per se. It just flushes the anterior part of the, part of the nose. Um, once you're done with those two, uh, so one again, each side, 5C syringe, uh, each side, then um, you have about half the container still left. 
And what you then do is you then gargle. So when you now stick your head back and you take some of this in your mouth and you sort of gargle for maybe 10, 15 seconds, spit it out, sort of the same thing, uh, maybe twice uh, as much. So then you, what you will then feel is you'll feel some of that solution from your nose still sort of going in the, in the back, and that's, that's completely fine. Try not to swallow that solution, though. It's, and, and again, it's just cautionary. Uh, spit it out as much as you can. Uh, after about a minute or so, um, you may taste that sort of weird iodine taste in your mouth. Um, you may just want to rinse out your mouth with a little bit of uh, extra water, uh, if you would, and, and, and that should be it. So again, um, you can do this once or twice a day. I do it typically if I've gone out with a whole bunch of folks. I'm in a room, I'm in close contact with folks, and I'm talking and they're laughing and that sort of stuff. Um, and it's just to be on the safe side, right? Now, I, I think for the most part, uh, uh, people are fine. But this is, this is known to um, kill RSV, cold, or any other virus that folks have been talking about for the last two years. Uh, it does sort of the same thing. Very, very effective against those. And a lot of um, that virus, again, uh, comes through your, through your nostril, through your nose. Um, so if you can, if you can uh, neutralize what's in your nostril, in your nose, it's, it's likely that it'll not get into your system. And again, for, for most of us, um, with natural immunity, that's not an, an issue. But other folks don't have natural immunity, and so they run the risk of their um, immunocompromised for whatever reason. Again, a great method to sort of just flush the, uh, the, the, the nostril once a day, um, and if you do it twice a day, that's, that's that's fine as well. I do it just once once a day, and it works. It works for me. Again, just it's three ounces of uh, sterile water, it's two drops of proton iodine, and it's this five c syringe that I use. And I, I do this as I said before. Um, if I go out in, in large groups, I go out to the movies. Um, I'm I'm really in close contact with people. I went to uh, I went to the store Apple store yesterday. Uh, when I got home, I sort of the first thing I did, and I got home, I sort of flushed my nostril. And I haven't done it this morning. Um, I could if I wanted to, but I do it just usually at the end of the day that I've gone out with uh, and, and being in a room of uh, lots of people. That's what I, I do to sort of protect myself. Again, I've not had, I've never had a problem or had an issue, but I, I understand from what I read that this, uh, that this can work and it, it helps a little bit uh, in terms of protecting yourself from getting, um, getting infected. And again, RSV, colds, or any other virus that has been sort of going around for the last two years, uh, it helps to, uh, to neutralize all of those. Anyway, thanks for listening.